Okay, my friends, so in today's vlog, yes, we are in the Lake District once more. We're in Keswick again, and we're off to the Kingfisher, which is a fish and chip shop that has been voted the best fish and chip shop in Cumbria. So I'm super excited about this one. Big question is, now you're a Yorkshireman. I'm a Yorkshireman. He's a Yorkshireman. Is this fish and chip shop, are the fish and chips as good as they are in Yorkshire? I think they are. You think no, they are? I think they are. They're, they're as good as what we've had. They're nice and clean, not greasy. Really good chips and fantastic quality fish. That's a big. Yeah. That's a big claim, coming especially from coming from a Yorkshireman. So coming from a Yorkshireman. That's, right. That's big. Yeah. No, good. Excellent. We'll have a little. They're not ready yet. We've ordered them in because they're, they're made to order. Now the guy there was a butcher. He was. Uh, and he also sells his sausages there as Cumberland well. Cumberland sausages. Cumberland yeah. sausages, uh, which you can get as well. He'll cook them for you, I believe. Well, yeah, he'll, you, you basically you ring to order. So you, if you're coming on holiday and you want some Cumberland sausages, ring to order, he'll have them made. You go to the chip shop, pick them up. Um, come raw, he does sell his own sausages in fish and chip shop as well, but uh, really good quality. Can't wait. We're going to have a quick wander around because they're not ready yet. They're made to order. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Okay, so we're taking a walk through the centre of Keswick now. Just going to have a, a little look around while the, uh, the fish and chips are being cooked, and then we'll uh, take a little look around. Nice little, uh, nice little town centre. This, yeah, take a look. So this here is called Moot Hall, and it's a tourist information centre. So you can get all your information from there after you after you've been to the pub just there. Anyway, let's have, have a look at this. Look at this beautiful little town square. This. Of lovely little pubs here, isn't there? Yeah. Really nice. I mean, look at this the dog and gun. These are famous for goulash. Goulash? Yeah. And rumor has it, in the deeds of the building, when you take it out, you inherit the recipe for the goulash. There you go. So, inherit the building, get the deeds, and you get the recipe for the goulash. It's but you've got to keep it a secret. It's a secret recipe, apparently, yeah. It's a secret recipe. <laughs> The, the guests love it when they've been on the fells all day and they've, they've walked the legs off and they're absolutely shattered. They come back down here. Guess I can down, smell. I can smell the food. Pint, have a pint. You know, goulash. Oh yeah, a pint and some goulash. Yeah. Oh, and this is a lovely little uh, lane down here as well. This is called Lake View. Lake, Lake Road. Lake Road. Here we go. Check it out. Tell you what I like here. There's how many pubs are there? There's loads. Oh, there's, there's just pub after pub. Right. Do you know what? I think it's enough walking now. I think we need the fish and chips. We need some carbohydrates. We need some carbohydrates. Some protein. Some fish and chips. We're going to eat them with a view. We're going to show you a, a view while we eat the fish and chips. Hey, John. That's going to be outstanding. You know everybody, don't you? Almost. He knows everybody. <laughs> Come on, onwards. Some nice jumpers in there for about how much? 
About 300 quid. About 300 quid for a jumper? All think, Norwegian. All Norwegian. Think I'll stick to George at Asda. <laughs> Come on. Got some nice stuff. Anyway, come on, I need fish and chips. Never mind Peter Rabbit. Now then, you're going to ask me where you can get a cheap pint. Now, you can't get a one euro pint, obviously, because we're in the Lake District. However, there is, Jason tells me, a Weatherspoons. There is a spoons, my friend. Spoons. So uh, you can get <laughs> you can get yourself a cheap pint at Weather Spoons, which is just not far from the fish and chip shop from the Kingfisher. Just thirty seconds walk. Thirty second walk, or a stagger if you're on holiday. Come on, onwards. Right, so here we are, the Kingfisher. Let me just put my mask on. One second. Right, so we're going to take these fish and chips now. We're going to go to a, a little place where it's got a nice little view. We're going to eat them there, mark them out of 10. But you need to see this view, my friends, because I've had a little sneak preview of this. And I can tell you, it is unbelievable. Honestly, come on, onwards. Right, well, I can tell you we're here, and uh, I've got to tell you, I've, I mean, I've never, had, uh, I've never had fish and chips in a view with a view like this. Unbelievable! Come and have a look. Unreal. Oh, right, I'm not going to turn the camera around just yet because you really are not going to believe this view. We've literally got a bench just here, look, to sit on. Just there. And are you ready for this? Here we go. <laughs> That's mad, isn't it? Absolutely mad. And you've got napkins, look. I'm <laughs> He's got napkins. He's been watching the vlogs. Oh, wow. Just look at that. Right, so it's going to be interesting because we haven't got any cutlery. We haven't got, we haven't got any forks. So, whoops. so, wow, look at the fish though. It's mad. So we are going to eat with our fingers. We're going to go old school. I'm from Mansfield anyway, so I'm all right with it. Um, and we're going to eat. Eat. The fish looks amazing. Just look at this. Absolutely, that looks superb. Right, I'm going to open mine up, look at the chips, and then we're going to mark it out of 10. So here goes. Here we go. I've never seen a fish so big, it's mad. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. That is madness. Check this out. Okay, here we go. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Batter's nice and crispy. Look at the fish in there. Mmm. Mmm. 
that is something else with this view. Never had fish and chips like this before. Mm. Unbelievable. Mm. Really nice. Right, we're going to try the chips and then the mushy peas as well. Right, let's try the chip. There we go. Bit of a connoisseur of chips. Let's open this one up. Oh yeah, here we go. So we've got the chips there. Mm. Mm. They There's something else. Right, mushy peas. We'll use the chip as a dipper. <laughs> Here we go. Chip dippers. They're good mushy peas. Right. Mmm. Oh yeah. Absolutely spot on they are. Right, I'm going to eat these and we're going to do a little bit of time lapse for you to show you the view. Then we're going to come back, mark them out of 10. I mean, look at the size of this fish. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's huge. It's like a shark or something. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's not real. Mm. See you guys in a minute. Okay, my friends, so I'm going to tell you now, that was absolutely amazing. And I have to say, the biggest fish I've ever had, it was just humongous. I mean, you, you could have had, you literally actually probably could have had one, uh, I think, between, and you just halved that fish. It was, it was huge. Uh, the chips were lovely, the fish was amazing, the batter was superb. The fish, that was cod. Um, and it was it was meaty. It was really really nice. I'm gonna give that I'm gonna give that That's got to be I'm gonna say a 9.1 Blimey. What about for yourself? I was gonna give it an 8.9. An 8.9? So Is no, that because you didn't have any forks? It's because we didn't have any forks. Yep. There we it's go. Absolutely beautiful again. It's, it's always the same. It's the it's the busiest fish and chip shop in Keswick, and it's the best. And the sausages are fantastic as well. There we go. So you, you that's the kingfisher uh, in Keswick, and you can pop up here and just get this view. Absolutely superb. I have to say, by the way, I didn't take any points off for not having the forks because mm. it reminded me of going back to my childhood with my parents, and sometimes you'd eat. Yeah. You know, you just eat them with your fingers and stuff, so it was great. And you've brought the wet wipes as well, so uh, came equipped. Now, I think on the way back, we're just going to show you quickly uh, a beer garden. A little, a little beer garden on the way back. We probably won't have a drink there because I'm tired. We'll, just, but we'll show you the, this little pub with a beer garden and then we'll end it off there. The reason I'm not going to have a beer there is because we're going to go back into town. I'm going to put the camera away because we've done about five videos today and we're going to go and have a beer uh, back at your place at the yeah. Sizzling Stone. Now, the Sizzling Stone, I am going to review the breakfast tomorrow morning, uh, which will be on the next vlog. So don't miss that one, excuse me, don't miss that one. We're going to be, I'm going to be filming the breakfast. And yes, before you ask, there is going to be black pudding on it. I'm not keen on black pudding, but I know everybody keeps saying, got to have black pudding on breakfast. So I'm going to be doing that one as well. It's the law. It is the law. 
it's the law so we'll be having black pudding as well so stay with us guys you have a quick wander to this um, amazing beer garden with a view and then we'll close it out there superb fish and chips superb come on onwards <laughs> Okay, so slight change of plan, slight change of plan. We're not going to go to the beer garden because it is getting a little bit dusk now and it's not going to show it off in all of its splendour. So what we're going to do is we're going to take you very quickly through a little village called Grange. Now don't get it mixed up with Grange over Sands, which I know really well in the south of the lakes. This is Grange and it's a tiny little village and it's beautiful. Um, good walking country as well, isn't it? So there we go. So we're going to go and do that. Stay with us and uh, we'll show you Grange. Oh, okay, so we are in Grange. What a, an absolutely gorgeous little village. You've got a, a lovely little bridge over here. Just look at this. <laughs> Dogs always bark at me. Just look at this. Absolutely stunning, it really is, it's just beautiful. So this is Grange, there's a tiny little church as well, it's lovely. We'll walk it just along this road here um, uh, and then we'll tie it up because I'm going to be off for a beer at the Sizzling Stone. <laughs> the Sizzling Stone. Right, okay, just have a look at this. Is that a pub over there as well? Unfortunately not. No? no there's no oh, pub. There's no pub. No. I thought it was a pub. You're gonna have to bring your own bottles. Look at this little village. Lovely little church there as well. Look at this. Unbelievable. Right, well, I think I'm going to tie it up here because, and I don't know about you, but I need a beer. It's thirsty work. It is thirsty work. And uh, the best place to get a beer is probably your place. It's the cheapest. It's the cheapest. <laughs> and I'm a Yorkshireman. <laughs> and it's a Yorkshireman. That is all for today. Don't forget, join me tomorrow, or it might be the next day after. It depends when I get. Well, join me in the next one then. And because uh, I'm going to be testing out the breakfast, full English breakfast at the sizzling stone and you're going to be cooking it no pressure no pressure there then that's so i'm going to be marking your breakfast out of 10. <laughs> no pressure and it will include black pudding don't worry that's all for today superb fish and chips superb scenery superb uh, company as well what more do you want so that's all for today don't forget to like subscribe click that little bell for notifications of when i upload new videos Follow me on Instagram, which is down here somewhere. I'll also, by the way, put this guy's uh, link down below as well. Uh, so you can go, that you can stay stay at the Sizzling Stone. You can also get, you can get food, drink, restaurant, yeah. restaurant bar. bar, everything. And come and see this guy, say hello to him. Uh, I'll put all the details down below. That's all for me today. I'm gonna wind this up because I need a beer. That's it, job done. See you guys in the next one. Stay safe, stay positive. Bye-bye. Come on, beer. Beer time.